One step forward and another back. I will never try. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have tons of motivation for you as we are taking down all of the fall and Halloween decor in my house, organizing the seasonal decor bins, and just getting ready for all of the Christmas decor. So if you are excited about today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and let's just get started. First things first, I am bringing in all of my bins that I have been using for my fall and Halloween decor because my issue is I just combine it all at the end of the season and holiday. I just kind of shove everything into the bins and I don't organize it at all. And it's actually kind of a problem because then next year when I want just my fall stuff, because I decorate for fall first before I decorate for Halloween, that I literally have to take out all of the bins because that all of the decor is kind of mixed together or I'm not quite sure what's in what bin. So I am putting a stop to that today. We are going through all of the bins and not only am I going to organize them from like fall specific decor to Halloween specific decor, but I'm also going to get rid of anything that I no longer use, no longer, you know, like, it's no longer my style or whatever, or just some old broken things that have been sitting in these bins probably years. I mean, <laughs> I've been collecting decor since I was in college, so there was definitely a ton of like Dollar Tree items that were no longer good anymore that could have been thrown away a long time ago. So we are taking care of that today. It was quite the process, but then it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And I ended up having a ton more room in my bins for some of the newer decor that I picked up this year from both fall and Halloween. So. That is what the chaos that is happening here. We are just going to go through each and every bin, remove things. I had a throwaway pile and I had a another pile that I'm not quite sure what I want to do with. <laughs> and I put all of the fall stuff in the fall bins and all of the stuff, Halloween stuff in the Halloween bins. And it worked out perfect. I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard down. Okay, so this is what I have left. Um, I feel really good about this. So now I have three empty bins here. You can't really see that I can put my decor into. Um, actually, and then this one for my Halloween stuff. I know I have a, some like fall specific stuff out still, like in my bedroom. Um, and some pillows maybe that I'll have to find a bin for. Um, so hopefully I can fit all of that within these four bins. This I've designated as like the costume bin. So that's really nice to have that because these were just, all of our costumes and accessories throughout the years were just kind of thrown throughout all of the bins. So 
I'm glad we have just one bin for all of that in case the kids, I don't know, in case we want to reuse costumes, probably more likely me and my husband would ever reuse costumes, but we have it just in case. So that one is full of fall stuff. Um, but like I said, I do have a few more fall specific items that I need to find a place for. And these are the things that I didn't want to particularly throw away because they were good items. So I don't know if I want to donate or sell. I feel like it's kind of a bad time to try and sell or donate fall Halloween stuff because everyone's got their mind set on Christmas. So maybe I just put this in a box <laughs> out of my um curb and see who wants to come and get it i don't know let me know down in the comments below what i should do with this stuff there's just it's not like high-end stuff it's a lot of it's really old some dollar spot finds um just mainly things that don't fit my taste anymore um that i want to get rid of things that i didn't want to really throw away so like i do have this whole bag <laughs> of things that I was able to throw away this year, like broken stuff, or I don't know, just a bunch of random stuff in, in there. So I feel really good about going through all of this. Like, I'm gonna properly label it all so that when fall and Halloween come next year, we know exactly which bins have what in them, so we're not dragging literally all of these out every single time. We decorate. So now I'm going to, I don't know, I guess, start undecorating some of the stuff. I probably, I don't have much time to do it today, but I want to start getting to it. So it's a little goodbye of all of the cute Halloween. Got our costumes here that will need to be now put in the costume bin um but yeah we're gonna start getting rid of all this stuff putting it away for next year Normally, I wait just a little bit after Halloween to take down my decor, and it's not because I feel any particular way. <laughs> like, I'm November 1st comes, I am very excited about Christmas, even though I am an, a Halloween fanatic. I've also been thinking about Halloween since probably the 5th of July, to be honest. Um, so I am ready to put it away for the year and move on to the next. So I am very excited about Christmas. I'm very excited to decorate for Christmas. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I immediately November 1st decided to take down my decor this year. I also just needed a little bit of like a refresh before the Christmas decorations come out. So right now I'm looking around my house and it's pretty bare and it feels good. I feel like I needed a little bit of a cleanse before I move on to some more crazy extra seasonal decor, if you know what I mean. But let us know down below, when do you take down your fall Halloween stuff? When do you decorate for Christmas? Are you a November 1st, put your tree up kind of person? <laughs> or do you wait till after Thanksgiving? Um, I probably will be decorating like mid-November. I'm still trying to pick up a few new items 
for my collection. Every year I like to pick up just a few things to kind of add along with everything else. So I want to finish doing that. I want to fit film a Christmas decor haul for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you need a little bit of inspiration or if you just like watching those videos like I do. <laughs> um, and that one will be coming out soon. And then we're going to be doing a decorating. I have to do the decorating mid-November. So I'm not worried about it. I am due mid-December. But I have a feeling she's going to be coming early. Like all my other babies did. So... <laughs> probably the beginning of December and I want the house to be decorated for Christmas so a I don't have to worry about it after baby is born but to I don't know that seems like the best way to bring a baby in is to have all of the Christmas magic happening at the home so that is the plan for now but as you can see it is much later in the evening I took down all of the decor here in the living room and now I'm getting around to actually wiping down all of the surfaces um, and getting those dusted really well now that they are clean and then we are going to do a good vacuuming as well because when I took out all of the stuff out of those bins, glitter is everywhere and just, you know, all of the things that comes from um, seasonal decor. So we're going to do a good vacuum in this room to finish it up for the evening. On a run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now So we are back at it again the next day and we're moving on into the kitchen and dining room. Sometimes like taking down all the decor seems a little bit overwhelming so I'm just taking it one room at a time, just cleaning up one surface at a time. Here in the kitchen obviously there's more mess than just the decor so we are dealing with that as well. Gave you guys a little bit of a cleaning motivation with that as well but we're going to continue to chip away at all of this um when I see Halloween decor I'm just kind of setting it aside and then kind of grouping or boxing it up in groups so that I can put them away nice and neat which again is a little bit different than what I'm used to I usually just throw it in the bin I am pretty good at wrapping some of the items that I really don't want to be broken, but they're pretty safe. They just go down in the basement and it's not like they are being transported anywhere, so I'm not too concerned about anything breaking, but just to be safe, I like to wrap up some items just so that they don't break. I use like plastic bags. And when you go shopping, you have tons of plastic bags around, so it's the perfect use for them. And when stores give you that wrapping paper to like Hobby Lobby, always gives a ton of that paper or Target too. Um, I always keep that and use that to wrap things like the seasonal decor in my storage bin. So that's a little tip if you want to make sure all of your things are kept safe and sound. We don't need to be buying things just because they're breaking in our bins. Um, but I'm going to continue to move around in the kitchen here, take down all of that decor, which by the way, it is super satisfying to see it all just kind of come down and it there to be like a clean slate. 
super satisfying, but let's get the kitchen done. So as I work on this super messy table, I just want to talk a little bit about Christmas decor plans. Um, every year I kind of focus on something that I want to um, grow in my collection, like if it's greenery or if it's signage or maybe like figural pieces or I don't know anything like that this year I'm definitely been focusing on like my pillow throw blanket situation and part of that reason is because we are finally getting a new couch I am so very excited it is another gray sectional but it is much higher quality than the one that we have now also it's not going to be ripped <laughs> like the one that we have now um, We've had this couch since we moved in seven years ago, and it was a $600 couch. It served us well our f seven years of living here, but it is time to go, and it is time to upgrade into something a little bit cozier, a little bit something that can hold together better for the kids and the dogs, and something that can fit us all better too so i'm just very excited for that to come because i'm excited to style it with all of the christmas pillows and throw blankets and just make it super cozy for the christmas season so that's kind of been my main focus obviously i pick up other little things here and there but in terms of like where the money most of the money is going that's kind of what I've been doing, trying to find a little bit higher quality pillows that hopefully will last longer than one or two uses. That's kind of what I've realized from the pillows I've used in the past. It's just that they don't, they don't work past the year or two that I have them. So I'm just trying to find something a little bit better quality that I can hold on to a little bit longer. Um, and it's been kind of really fun. I found a lot of beautiful pillows at Target. So like I said, I'll do a decor haul. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you have the notification bell turned on so you can see when all my Christmas videos are posted. Um, and if you are needing any ideas, you can catch them there. But we are trying to pack these bins as full as possible. I know I'm gonna need at least one more bin because I threw all of the little pillows that I had into the wash and those are going to need a whole bin in itself so I'm going to have to pick up another one of those but I think we did pretty good with what we had. Um, so now that both spaces are cleaned of all of the decor we are going to clean up the kitchen and dining room, just do a really good wipe down of everything, vacuuming, and just get it nice to a clean slate. I kinda simple, kinda wishful about things and your Kinda simple, but like a pistol, you fire. Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover, and sometimes you don't wanna come back, cause you'd rather stay out with another. Talking is 
strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories About the drunk nights bragging and the glory You're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself And the way of how you dwell, I get it Oh, I'm so tired Such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself in the way of how you dwell. I get it. Now I'm so tired of hearing all your stories. Take my love for granted Say a bunch of stuff you never meet, yeah So once the sink is all scrubbed nice and clean We are going to finish off the kitchen And do a really good vacuuming in here I'm going to have to have my husband bring all of the bins down into the basement um, Probably this weekend because He's a hard-working man. I'm not going to make him do it when he gets home from a long day at work. And they're just fine lining the walls of our house. But let me know if you have any special requests for videos for the Christmas, Thanksgiving, you know, holiday season in general. Because I would love to give you guys something that you want to watch. But if you enjoyed today's video, if it gave you tons of motivation to take down your decorations or just to clean your house in general, please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!